Today I show you how to generate some nice Lisa shoe patterns on your oscilloscope with GNU Radio, a software defined radio as a signal source. So that's some Lisa shoe pattern. Um, let's change the frequency to, to something nice. So I have here 4 kilohertz and 3 kilohertz. And this is 4 kilohertz and 4 kilohertz and now I slightly change the frequency of one of the inputs and then we have some shifting of the phase so let's take 4 kilohertz and 4 and 5 5 and 5 5 and 6 6 and 7 7 and 8, 7.5 and 8, 9 kilohertz and 7.5, 9 kilohertz and 5.5 kilohertz. And then let's go back to 2 kilohertz and so that's 2 and 9.5. 2 and 4, 2 and 3, 2 and 2.5, 2 and 3 again. So, and now let me show you the GNU radio program. So that's the GNU radio companion. And here I defined two signal sources. So this is the first signal source and this is the second signal source. And both signal sources produce complex value which I change to a real value. And then I feed them into the audio sync. And to also monitor the output I display the, the output. Uh, so I mix both channels uh, into one complex value and then I feed it into the GUI sync. And in order to be able to quickly change the frequency of the input, so I define four sliders. I define F1 and F2, and then F1 and F2 adjust. So the F1 and F2 are changeable only in 500 hertz steps, from 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz, and then the adjusts are definable by minus one and plus one in 10 milli steps. So, so here we can easily adjust the, the frequency in, in small steps. And so in order to make this work, so I defined the frequency as F1 plus F1 adjust. So this way I can easily change the, the frequency in, in small steps. And then let's see how this works. So here I have the four sliders, F1, F2, F1 and F2 adjust. So here I have the time domain display. So the real and the imaginary part of the signal corresponds to both signals on the oscilloscope. And I also can do an XY display here and see more or less what I would see on the oscilloscope. And here I can change the sliders. So this is, for example, 4 kilohertz for the one frequency and 5 kilohertz or 6 kilohertz for the other frequency. And here I have the, the small adjustments. If I make the adjustment to zero, so then they will be in sync. So if I slightly change the adjustments, so let's do it by 0 0.5 hertz. So then every 20 seconds, the, the signals will be either in sync or out of sync. So it's the display of the complex value that shows me the two independent oscillos, oscillators. And here's the same display on the oscilloscope. So, Nice tool to generate some nice patterns.
for your oscilloscope. So that's it for the day. Thank you for listening.